it, it's amazing. So when I really started, I think a few people know that uh, I really tuned into how to make money in stocks and the whole can slim uh, theory around new highs. And it was such a revelation to me. Um, I used to, when, early on when I was really trying to build my strategy, I really looked for two things. I looked for companies that had, you know, increase in revenue growth and then a stock that was hitting a new high. That was it. Like th there was almost nothing else I looked for. And the, the returns were absolutely amazing. Um, so it, pe people still have a hard time understanding the dynamics of buying a stock that's hitting a 52 week high, but I yeah. love it when I see that. I was uh, talking to someone today at investing night. We uh, I do one on one once in a while, and uh, we were talking. and He's like, yeah, well, we were talking about a particular stock in the geo that we had in geo, and it had gone up a lot. And he's, well, I don't know if I want to buy here. I said, let me do you. Let me ask you a question. Let's say we sat down. I gave you a symbol. I wrote a symbol on a paper, and I wrote down the symbol, the price, the valuation, and what they do. I took the chart away. Yeah. You had no idea where past the, the stock was in the past. You have yeah. no doubt about that. That's how you got to look at a company, right? <laughs> so, sure, the chart might scare you, and sure, there might be some selling because you have technicals coming yeah. in. That just means you buy more stock when it falls, right? But yeah. I think what I found was that there, there's sometimes a reason for a stock getting high. You guys got to find out what that is, right? And a lot of times, uh, it is inflection points. Well, if, if you think about, pick any of the, the major, major companies we, we talk about on a daily basis, like the Amazons and the you know, uh, Apple and you go on and on with these big names. If you, if you bought them when they were first hitting their sort of first new high after consolidating for six months, you'd be buying them 10 years ago at prices that today, I mean, you, you'd only beg to be able to, to, to buy it. Right. Um, yeah. and, and yeah, and they had, in some cases they had doubled and tripled already when you were buying them way back when. Right. So, right. yeah. And the thing yeah. too is like think about this. Let's say you you buy a stock and you think, think mentally you need to get we need to get out of that kind of frame of mind of like thinking that a high is bad because if you own a stock and it doubles, are you just going to sell because it doubled because the chart looks like that? I mean, you still mm -hmm. want to value with the company the whole time, right? So mm -hmm. I think we become we become better investors when we kind of like are able to say just because stocks that's high or gone up doesn't mean we can't buy it anymore. You know, it's. It, I, I would argue that's that's a sign of a good investor is when you when a stock has doubled and tripled and you're still buying it. Yeah. Um, if you can find a reason to buy it still, then you've gotten over the emotions of uh, you know buying a stock that's up, right? Sure. And and uh, it took me a while before I got the, you well, know the, twenty the, years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a long time. But, but it's exciting. Sooner or later you get there. It's actually exciting. It feels good to know that you have yeah. that conviction to do that, right? Yeah. And not even care about it. And um, but yeah, that's uh, you know. And look, we do. And um, we still do screens once in a while and maybe once yeah. every three or four months we'll run the screen here and there to see what's going on. If there's like a, yeah. a trend going on, right? Like if there's like some trading trends you want to like swing trading. Like right now you have in, in the U.S. you have all these like penny stocks that are running really hard uh, yeah. that have a lot of shares, like billions of shares. It's, it's, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. It's, it's amazing. I know. And yeah. I'm running some trading screens on that just to have a little fun. Mm -hmm. They're not fundamental stuff, but so whatever is going on. But there's if, if if cryptocurrency is kind of caught, I'll I'll run some cryptocurrency screens, uh, just to have a little bit of my so basically basically eighty to ninety percent of our portfolios in our core kind of long term portfolio, yeah. And the rest of it's like that play money on the fringes that we put a yeah. little money in. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I I think it's it's actually healthy to have some trading money, at least for me, to have some crazy money to go and blow if you have to, just to <laughs> yeah. prevent me from making some mistakes in my long term holding. So. <laughs> And it's boring being alone. It's boring not doing yeah. anything. <laughs> Do something, so. Exactly. Um, so uh, is, tell us a little bit more. So when you guys look for something, do you do that? Is it top down that you look at or is it bottom up? You know, do you see trends? Do you, do you look at industries? How do you, how do you handle that stuff? I'm a, at a company by company basis. I'm not really, I'm really not looking for trends. I let everything come to me. So like the new, the new high list, let's come to us, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, look, if I see a disproportionate amount of stocks hitting highs in a certain industry, I'll start being paying attention to that, but I mean, I'm, I'm company focused first, yeah. you know, and then really, I avoid certain industries that I don't understand. Like I'll avoid mining, yeah. you know, I'll avoid banking, yeah. um, anything that I just don't understand too well, or there's a lot of the pieces of the puzzle that are too external that can yeah. really affect the company more than I can understand and more, more than they can handle sometimes. So, right. So yeah. that's hard though. And you got gold now going, I mean, you got silver, you got all the silver plays and yeah. A lot of commodity plays, but it's in and out so fast, right? They get to come in, they come and go so fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I find to, to do well in the resource sector, it has to be a raging bull market. 
and then yeah. and then sort of you can make you can make the odd mistake and you still you do fine but you know it, that bull market comes along it seems like every once once every 10 years or so and it's uh yeah, that, that trough is pretty ugly uh, while you're waiting for the next bull market. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. 